And we've been joined by USF coach Willie Taggart. The uh, Bulls are 0-3 overall. We're in action this past Saturday against Florida Atlantic. Uh, Florida Atlantic won the game 28-10. Uh, this week, USF is idle. They play their next game September 28th against Miami of Florida. Uh, and as we said, that game uh, just announced as a noon uh, Eastern kickoff on ABC ESPN, ESPNU. Uh, Coach, thanks so much for joining us on the call. We take a minute to tie up the, the game against Florida Atlantic and then tell us what you're looking forward to as you have your open date. Um, well, we, we lost um, another tough tough loss for us as a football team. You know, uh, Going in, we felt like it was a game that we, we could have won, should have won, and we didn't play well enough to win that ball game. You know, we have some... <clears throat> Issues on the offensive side of the ball that I, I, I know can get corrected, and, and we got to get them corrected soon. And I think we'll um, we'll be a better, better football team once we do that. You know, we got to find some way to uh, produce some offense, and we're not doing that now. But uh, we're going to use this off season. I mean, this off week, I should say, this open week, um, as a week to get better, especially in our passing game. Take questions for Coach Willie Taggart, please. Hit star one on your telephone to join the queue, and the operator will introduce you. And we'll go to Joey Knight with the Tampa Bay Times. Coach, did y'all come out of Saturday night's game healthy? Any significant injuries? Um, not nothing significant, other than just um, normal bumps and bruises. And just a quick follow-up: Would you like to, um, you know, during this off week? try to find one guy at quarterback to give him the snaps in practice? Um, I, think, I think that would be nice. I think that would be really nice for our, our offense and uh, to get some consistency and um, get the majority of the reps and, and be re well prepared for the game. So uh, we're going to use this week to really um, focus on that part and make sure we got the right guy at that position that's going to help us uh, produce some offense. And we'll go next to Joey Johnson with the Tampa Tribune. Oh uh, yeah, Willie, how is uh, Jacquez Jenkins? Is he seeing real play? Um, I hope so. I mean, we have two weeks to be prepared. You know, he he got dinged up in the game and um, wasn't nothing, nothing really too serious in that ball game. And he has two weeks to to rehab and get himself back out for next week. And regarding the quarterback, you you've played three of them and, and come in and out of some games after three weeks. How, how do you how do you evaluate what you've got now after these three weeks? Do, do you have a lot of different impressions than when the season started of what, what you have and, 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 and how you move forward? Uh, is it, are you sort of back to square one, in other words? Well, I wouldn't necessarily say square one. I think we've seen each one of these guys um, in game action and each one of them have done some different things for us, you know, um, and um, I think as we continue to go through this, this open week, we, we evaluate to see which guy is the best one for us to uh, lead us going forward and, and let them get the reps and prepare to uh, be the guy to help us win some ball games. And we have no more questions. Thank you. If we have any other questions for Coach Tiger, please hit star one on your telephone, please. Yeah, we do have a question. We'll go to Joey Johnson with the Tampa Tribune. Yeah, Willie, uh, as you have an open week, is it mm -hmm. is it uh, any different stylistically how you approach it? Do you go more to basics or more of a of, of a training camp look, or how how do you approach the open week in terms of your preparation and work with the players? Well, uh, we're going to do a great job of self scouting ourselves, offense, defense, and special team, and. And, um, and then prepare, just try to get better at some of the things we're, we're doing well and and the things that we're not doing well, just try to figure figure out is it worth trying to continue to do or get rid of it and, and really trying to find a way to, 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 to improve in the areas that we're not doing really well in. You know, I know for, for our football team right now is it's making plays on offense, you know, and so we got to um, find ways to do that, especially in the passing game. You know, I think from a running game standpoint, our guys are doing a good job. We just we got to produce some in the passing game, and so we're gonna focus on that and and on the fundamentals of just being sound and everything we do, and just get back to a lot of those things, and and, and get a couple of scrimmages in with the young guys, and um, and preparing while preparing for Miami the entire time. And on on your receivers, are you are you gonna try to incorporate? 
some new faces there and get some different looks, or is it just a matter of improving the guys that you've had playing primarily? Well, we're going to, um, I told our guys, you know, this week we're looking for playmakers. So um, if they're out there, come see me. And we're going we're gonna, to um, pitch in position, see if you can make some plays for us. So we're we're trying to find it every which way we can to to, um, to get some offense, I mean, some, especially from a pass game standpoint. And um, there's no limit to who, who, who can play over there or who will be playing over there. But we're going to use this week to really find out the guys that can really come in and help us make plays because we need it bad and uh, we got to find it. Thank you. Mm-hmm. We'll go next to Joey Knight with the Tampa Bay Times. Yeah, Coach, I just have one more question. As well as Nigel played the other night, even when Richard comes back, are you going to try to keep Nigel in the rotation, find a place for him? Uh, well, Nigel's going to play the rest of this year. You know, uh, somewhere on, on this football team he's going to play in. Um, it's just He's too good of a player, too good of an um, athlete to not be on the football field. So I do see ourselves on um, Nigel playing um, throughout the rest of this year. Thanks. And do we have any other questions for Coach Taggart, please? No, we have no more questions. Thank you. Coach, thanks so much for your time. Look forward to talking to you again next Monday. Hey, thank you, guys. All right, and that is USF uh, again with an open date this week uh, in action next September 28th against Miami.